Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeremiah Hersey here. Welcome back to the next PL300 test prep question. Today we're going to be looking at another question relating to row level security. So we're going to go back to the model that I previously showed when we were dealing with implementing row level security. We're going to have another table added into it. And we're going to look at today what is the difference between being a part of one role versus being a part of multiple roles with inside of the Power BI desktop. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we are in the Power BI desktop and I'm gonna give you a quick peek into the data model here. So we still have the geography table. Notice it's a one-to-many relationship. We also have a date table here, which is a one-to-many relationship to our fact table sales. So the idea here is that we are going to be looking at what happens when a user is a part of multiple roles with inside of the Power BI desktop. And so we talked about how to implement row level security. This one's going to be focused in more of what happens when you have those roles created and you're a part of multiple roles. So let's go ahead and look up here at the manage roles to get an idea of what these roles might be. So I've created several roles here and I want to explain how they're going to work. The first one is going to be this 2008 role. The 2008 role is a filter put on the date table where the year is 2008. So this is going to allow us to see all of the information that is a part of the year 2008 with inside of my data model. We also looked at last time the United States role. So the United States role is set on the geography table. And this is where the English country region name is the United States. You can see that here in this DAX expression. So this is going to allow us to see all information related to the United States. Now, as you're thinking about multiple roles, a lot of people think this is the same as creating one role. If you're a part of multiple roles, it's essentially kind of creating one role for both of these values. And this is actually incorrect. And so I'm going to show you that here. If you look at the this US and 2008 role, so a lot of people think that this is what it's going to do. It's going to be the year 2008 and it's going to be the geography English country region name United States. This is not how row level security is going to work. It's actually going to be separate. They're not going to be a combined filter unless you set it up that way. That's not how row level security when you're a part of multiple roles. That's not how it works. They're exclusive to each other. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that here in the Power BI desktop. I'm going to go over to the report view. And so right now I just have a sum of my sales amount here. And so as we look at these roles, we have to understand that they're exclusive to whatever the filter is. They don't combine together unless you specifically design them that way. And so if I were to select 2008, you're going to see that we have 9,770,000 here. And so with that 2008 filter, that is the value that I'm going to see. And I'm also going to see all of the countries that are associated to that sales amount for 2008. So it's not exclusive to just the United States. It's any country with inside of the year 2008 that has a sale. And so if I go up here and I go to view as and I select my 2008 roll, you're going to notice that value goes back to 9,770,000 because it's looking at the year 2008 and all of the countries that are associated to it. So if you're a part of the 2008 roll, you can see all of the data that is associated to the year 2008. Likewise, if I go to view the United States roll here, 
This is going to be the United States country. So the English country region name is United States. But notice it's a little bit different because it includes all of the years for the country, the United States. So it's exclusive specifically to the country itself and includes all of the years. And so this is how the roles are going to be implemented. So if I'm looking at the United States, I'm going to see all of the years. If I'm looking at 2008, I'm going to be looking at all of the countries. And so it, as a part of a user who is going to be a part of both of these roles, they're going to be able to see the information that way. So if, if they're looking at the United States, they'll be able to see all of the years. If they're looking at 2008, they're going to be able to see all of the countries. And so they're going to see the data for both of those values. Now, I created this third role here, US in 2008, to show you what it does not do. Okay, this is not what happens. So a lot of people think, well, if I'm a part of 2008 and I'm a part of the United States, it's going to essentially filter down to both US and 2008, and that is not the case. So this is an example of what it does not do. I just want to make that very clear. It does not filter down to a specific year in a specific country if you're a part of both roles unless you design the role to do that. So if you're a part of multiple roles, you're gonna be able to see the data as I showed it previously. It does not do what you see here where it filters down to the year and the country specifically. So let's go ahead and take a look at our test prep question. It says you have a Microsoft Power BI data model that contains three tables named order, date, and city. There's a one-to-many relationship between date and orders and between city and orders. The model contains two row-level security roles named role one and role two. Role one contains the following filter where the city state province is Kentucky. Role two contains the following filter where the date calendar year is 2020. If a user is a member of both role one and role two, what data will they see in a report that uses the model? As we look at these answer choices here, it says the user will see the data for which the state province value is Kentucky or where the calendar year is 2020. This is definitely a potential option. We just talked about that. Option B says the user will receive an error and will not be able to see the data. That is absolutely incorrect. As we saw, we can implement row level security and we can be a part of multiple roles and this is not going to be the case. Option C says the user will only see data where the state province value is Kentucky. Well, remember with these roles, so the first role, role one here is where the state province is Kentucky and role two is where the calendar year is 2020. For the city state province role of Kentucky, this is going to be all years because the filter is on the state Kentucky. So with the state, you're going to be able to see all of the years associated to the state Kentucky. With the second role, role two, you're going to be able to see the year 2020, but this is going to be all states. So this is gonna be all of the states that are associated to the year 2020. Remember, they are exclusive when they combine together. You're gonna to be able to see that data. So option C where it says the user will only see where the state province is Kentucky is going to be false because for role number two, we're gonna be able to see all of the states for the year 2020. Option D is similar to option A. It says the user will only see data for where the state province value is Kentucky and the calendar year is 2020. So this is what I want to point out here is the main difference between option A and option D. This one word, or versus and. So when I was showing you the example of that combined role of the United States and the year 2008 in the previous example, 
This is what I was talking about. So this word and versus or is very important in this question because and means that both of them are going to be applied. So it's going to say that you can only see Kentucky and you can only see the year 2020. But we know that with our role Kentucky, it's going to be all of the years associated to Kentucky. And for the role of 2020, it's going to be all of the states. So this and is going to be the piece that is incorrect. It is going to be option A, the user will see data for which the state province value is Kentucky or where the calendar year is 2020. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.